Before I start the actual video, I just want to say a quick disclaimer that I tried to do this video in one take, but I failed miserably. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted, so I raided a couple of parts, and the audio quality of those raided parts are a bit low due to heavy rain here. So I'm really sorry, So, but I tried my best to piece together this video, so I really hope you guys find this video helpful. Hey guys, it's me Rahul. I have been trying to learn Android and make an app and publish it to Play Store, but I never really had the time or the interest to do that. A couple of days ago, I was just looking for some topics to make a video on, and I went through my notes and I saw a video idea that I wrote down on how to make WhatsApp stickers. And I was like, oh, uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube about that topic, so let me make something different with it. What about making your own WhatsApp sticker app? So that is what we are going to be doing in this video. I divided this video into sections. So if you are familiar with any section, you can just skip ahead. There will be timestamps in the description down below. The process is very simple. You don't need to know Android or Java or any programming language or concepts. It is that that simple. So first things first, you need to install Android Studio. It is easy as well. You can install it like any other program. Then you need to go to this GitHub link, then download the project. If you have installed WinRAR, then double click on that zip file, then right click on this folder, right, cl uh, right click, then select extract to a specified folder, then create a new folder in any drive, then extract to that specific folder. It's pretty easy. Just have to click here, select a folder, then click OK to extract. Then open Android Studio, make sure you have downloaded all the essential library and toolkits before importing the project. To import the downloader project, click on this, then go to your extracted folder, select Android and click on OK. So first we need to change the package name of the app. So these are the fields that you need to change to change the package name of the app. To change the package name of this app, you need to change the example and the sample sticker app. You need to change both of these and you need to change each occurrences of these words to your desired word. So this is how you can do that. Just right click on this example, then go to refractor, rename, then type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in um, Mysterio TV. Uh, then I'm going to select search in comments and strings and also search for text occurrences. I'm going to check both of these fields, then hit refractor then hit on do refractor so we can actually accept the changes. Now we have changed the example to Mysterio TV. In that way we can also change the sample sticker app field to something else. So I'm going to right click on sample sticker app, go to refractor, rename and I'm going to change this to sticker app. Then um, tick on both of these boxes, then hit on refractor, then do refractor. So now we have successfully changed the package name of this app. Now that's done, let's fix an issue. If you try to run this code, you will encounter an error. So let's try to fix it. Once you run, you will get this error. Click on open file, then delete this if statement. It is just checking for the application ID, which we have already changed. So we don't have to check that. We don't need that if clause. Next, we need to change the minimum SDK version so that all the features of the app will work. Change it to 23. You can change that by going to build.gradle, then open this. It is already open since we have clicked on open file. It's the same file. Then change the minimum SDK version to 23 so that all the features of this app can work, mainly the transparency of the image. Then click on run app, create a new virtual device and select a device and download the latest version and install a new virtual device. That will be your emulator from now on. If you have already have created a virtual device, you don't have to do any of this. Then click OK and here it is. Now let's make our own sticker and make this app truly ours. I will show you how to make your own stickers with Photoshop and also how to steal someone else's stickers and import to your own app. So first make our own sticker. Download this PSD file from the description, then open it in Photoshop. This file act as a template for your stickers. Now let's open an image, cut it out, type some text and then save it as PNG because we want to preserve the transparency. We need to create a new folder with the label 2. So I'm going to right click on assets, new and click directory and name this 2. Uh, now we can import the stickers that we have created to this Android Studio. So I'm just going to drag it into my folder 2 then click OK. 
and now, now I have all the sticker.png files here and I'm gonna uh, select all of these and right click and select convert to WebP then uh, we can set the encoding uh, encoding quality to 75% which is okay uh, you have to make sure that you have unchecked skip images with transparency slash alpha channels because it is important that uh, stickers have transparency because it will look good then click OK then click accept all and I have converted the PNG file to WebP file as you guys can see I have already imported all the stickers and converted them into WebP format now we can actually edit the code so to do that we are going to create a new category so we're going to copy this code so this entire code we're just going to expand this and we are copying this entire code starting from this open curly braces to the end of this curly braces hope you guys understood that uh, so i'm going to copy it like this Control c then hit enter Control v so i have copied the same exact code so now I'm going to uh, expand this and I'm going to name this to 2 because my folder's label is 2. That is where I have imported all the new stickers, right? Then we can edit these fields. I'm going to type this my sticker. These are the uh, these are the strings that or the words that you see in the in the app. You can change the publisher. I'm going to type in Studio TV and you can also change the tray image file as well uh, make sure you, you have that tray image file in this folder as well in this identifier folder then you can also add a publisher email publisher website privacy policy website and all these things the main part of this code is this image file so we need to edit this field to this sticker one dot one dot and i'm going to do the same exact thing for all the stickers sticker 2 .wp. I'm, going to, I'm just going to copy this and edit it like this and sticker 4 and sticker 5 we don't have any more stickers to include in this app so we don't need this extra code so we can delete this starting from this comma All the way to this curly braces okay now in this second category we have one two three four five five stickers and the emojis to go along with it all right you know you can also edit this uh, you can also include publisher website and all these things you can change all these things and if you don't want this uh, first character which is kind of like a stock whatsapp character whatsapp stickers if you don't if you don't want this you can just delete this folder and delete this first uh, block of code if you don't want that stock whatsapp stickers in your app you can always delete this so now that we have done with that click on run app select an emulator then click ok and here it is my stickers and here we have all the stickers if you click on it and you can click on add to whatsapp to add to whatsapp and you can edit all these like all these files like all these strings like you can add change the tray icon uh, you can change uh, the name of the publisher everything you can change all that so in case you want to copy stickers from any other uh, any other app it is very simple as well you need to have that sticker pack app installed and enabled on your phone and simply just send the stickers that you want to copy to your friend or to your other account and then open whatsapp web then right click on the sticker and save image as and you can already see it is in webp format so simply drag and drop the file to your android studio into a special folder if you want to and it's already in webp format so we need to edit the code uh, put a comma here then copy this section of the code then just edit the file to five then press on this run icon then hit ok and here you have it we have successfully imported basically copied someone else's work into our own app after we made sure everything works fine let's compile this code into an apk so go to build build bundle slash apks and click on build apks 
then wait for a couple of seconds uh, to actually build the APK then click on locate which will open up the file explorer and this is your app app hyphen debug this is your app you can rename it whatever and share it with your friends and install it on your phone if you want to publish this on play store then you need to use the generate signed bundle slash apk option so that's pretty much it guys hope you guys liked this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up and i will talk to you guys in my next video